His fourth start since coming back on the Sabres, and that one's ripped to right field. Rodriguez back, and it's off the wall, and it's pinned underneath the wall. You can see it sitting there. But there is just a small gap there, and it's just sitting right there. Well, where that ball landed, it landed literally in between this plastic. And there's probably a six-inch gap, and it somehow landed right in that spot. Curtis Parks, meanwhile, back and throwing in the Reds' bullpen down the right field side. Among the other unique aspects of this ballpark. That's the sunshine. Ho oh, ho. All right. Hold on to that youngster. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're ready to throw it. <laughs> He's at the perfect age to throw it back. That's a good one. Look at that. Hold on to the baby. Nice reach. Nice stretch. That was impressive. Yeah. She deserves high fives. <laughs> what do you do when you're playing a doubleheader? See, they're not accustomed to playing doubleheaders. This is what they do. <laughs> I may have said last year's draft, 2011. A little soft liner, oh. and the bat goes flying right at Sogard and knocks him down after he makes the catch. I have never seen this before where the bat winds up hitting the guy that takes the ball. Guy out in the field get hit by it. Clipped him, sent him down. Now, up until seeing Sogard make this play, Marty Feldman, the only guy I ever thought would make the play. Let's listen to Josh Reddick's new walk-up song. It's a favorite. Now batting right fielder. 16. Josh Reddick. That's beautiful. Careless whisper by Wham. And Red, Red is Reddick. awesome. Over the Royals now in the seventh inning. Like Coco. Did he ask for timeout? He, it looked like he was just taking and he took yeah. a strike, but I don't know if he asked for timeout or kind of strange. Yeah, something happened. Or maybe he did that because he's thinking fast when he threw him back to back changeups. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for the next pitch. Here was it. Watch the bird. Uh oh, yeah. Oh, that may be it right there. That's it. That was the bird. Good call by our crew. Chip Hale threw a couple in. He's ready. I mean, not that baseball players are superstitious or anything. I mean, that, no. that, that would be a crazy thing to yep. say, but it's always good to see the puppet guy here. And that gentleman was in Pittsburgh last year, and he's here in Miami this year. 